So, what I'm focusing on today is additional fraction again uh, using this time using the example from the notes that were given. So, I'm just running through how to go about solving additional fraction in a step by step format using notes given. So, from the notes, the first example we see it is two thirds plus one eighth. First, what we need to do is to find the LCM of this, this denominator here. So, we have the number three and eight. To find the LCM, we divide using prime factors. First, we'll start with three. Three can go into three one time without leaving a remainder. Three cannot go into eight without leaving a remainder, so therefore we write eight. We use two. Two cannot go into one, so you yeah, write back one. Two could go into four. Um, two could go into eight four times, so you write four. Try two again. Two cannot go into one. Two could go into four two times. And then we go again, 2, 2 could go into 2, 1 time. So we end up with 1, 1 here. So therefore the LCM of 3 and 8 will be 3 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, which is 3 to 6, 6 to 12, 12 to 24. So we have the new common denominator, which is 24. What we would like to do now is to divide 24 by the old denominator of each fraction. So 24 divided by 3 is 8. And you see, 2 multiplied by 8 is 16. Then add again. You see, 24 divided by 8 is 3. 1 multiplied by 3, it is 3. Now you add. 16 plus 3 is equal to 19 over 24. So this is how you do addition or fraction. Also, they use the same concept and for subtraction. The only difference is instead of adding, you'll take away.